What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear. And today is Father's Day. And, you know, I put a tweet out earlier with a little Snapchat picture that I took with my daughter earlier. And, you know, what I said in the tweet, it kind of hit a little close to home, I guess. And I just felt like I wanted to speak on it. You know, it's been a while since I've just gotten in front of a camera, put the games aside, put the comedy aside, and just talk to y'all, you know? When it comes to being a father, it's quite possibly one of the greatest experiences a man could ever go through. For me, it was. I've had, you know, plenty of people tell me what... I can and cannot do what I will and will not be. And one of those things was I would never find anybody. I would never be a father. Of course, like all of the people, all of the, as we call, haters, I proved them wrong. And, you know, I, I tell you what, when my daughter was born, I actually almost cried. A whole lot of people said that I would throw up, but I didn't. But I almost cried. But I kept it together because I had to be the strength in that moment. And being a dad who doesn't have a dad, because my dad passed away back in 2006, so he's unable to physically meet his grandchild. In all honesty, I don't think he met any of his grandchildren. Now that I think about it, I don't think he met any of them. Well, actually, I'm not going to lie. The oldest brothers of mine, the twins, he got to meet their children, but he never got to see mine. And I was the the black sheep of the family. I was, you know, the 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 odd one out, the weakest link. I even often wonder if I ever made my dad proud of anything. That just goes to show you, I... I was a little shit when I was growing up. I couldn't do anything. So, yeah, being a dad, it at least brings to me that, you know, maybe maybe I made him and my mom, because they're both up there, maybe I both made them proud while they've been watching down on me. You know, I've always been curious about it, but what really gets me is... Yeah, children, oh man, they can, they can pull some strings that you didn't even know you had. I know I've had to be extra patient when it comes to my daughter, because she has been difficult on more than one occasion, but I love her to death. I love her to death. I know that if she doesn't see me for like a while after she gets up in the day, I know she'll be happy to see me when she does. I don't understand how dads could abandon something like this. And I put this, like I said in the tweet earlier, I said, you know, shout out to all of the single moms because you're effectively the mom and the dad. You know, and shout out to the single dads too. I'm not, you know, discriminating on just the dads and everything like that. I'm saying, but in this aspect, with it being Father's Day and all of these fathers that are nowhere near their kids, it's like, why? Why? Why would you abandon something that you could literally mold? To do great things in this world. My daughter is smart. Smart as hell. And always has been. She's smarter than I was. And I am proud of that. Everything that I learned. Everything that I had to learn the hard way. Everything I had to learn by myself. In this world. Because I didn't even have my family to help me. They had their own plans for me. She's going to learn it all. I have the opportunity to see a life become better than mine. I have the opportunity to feed her the information that I had to, you know, tear myself apart to get, rip my own hair out. 
all the times I cried, you know, the consequences, me being homeless, I have the opportunity to pass all of that on to her. So she will have information that not even a lot of people of my generation have. And she's already smart. She's one and a half years old and she knows how to say mama, daddy, good girl. She knows how to give kisses. She knows how to give hugs. She knows how to high five. I'm teaching her how to patty cake. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm teaching her how to patty cake. She has a favorite book that she wants read all the time. And she knows how to flip the pages of that book and literally look at it by herself. And she's been doing this since she was about one, years, one year old, maybe even a little before that. Her doctor never had any concerns about her because she was that advanced. She was that advanced. She was able to hold her head up on her own a month old, a month old. She was able to hold the pacifier in her mouth as soon as she came out the womb. I am proud of her. I am because the one thing that bothered me was whether she would end up like I was. I was so concerned about that because that's the last thing I wanted. I barely lasted my birth. I was born with asthma. I uh had to be in, you know, in and out of the hospital for like 2 years because I was so weak constitution wise. And that's why a lot of people of my family never thought I'd do anything because they've never had the confidence since I was born. But I can look upon my daughter, who I have aptly named Daenerys. Yeah, ending of Game of Thrones, it didn't happen yet, okay? I made a queen. She's going to be one. She's going to have her own kingdom one day. She's not my princess because I'm not raising a princess. I'm raising a queen. I'm raising a leader. I'm raising strength. That's what I have wanted to do ever since I discovered how smart she was. Everything I learned, martial arts, self-defense, knowledge, I'm passing it all on to her because that's my baby and I love her. All of these things, there are so many dads out there that are missing it right now. That don't care. Hell, they want to even duck and dodge paying child support. I can understand child support is expensive, but a lot of these dads out there bring it on themselves. They just don't want to be there. They don't want to be around. They're sleeping around, making piss poor decisions, and then they don't want to man up. I don't understand that. I don't understand it, especially because I wanted a son. I wanted a son because I'm the only person of my last name in the entire state of Texas. It's just me. Having a son dates to my gimmick having an heir to pass on my name. But hey, in the end, I still have one. I still have one. It wasn't always just the son that went to rule. Even the daughters could rule back then. Mine will. Watch. I'm molding her to be a little co-host. I've been doing that ever since she was little. I've incorporated my daughter into my back then I was just on Twitch but into my broadcasting life you get these opportunities to do this I am that dad that just loves to show off okay I showed off my daughter at any time I could I show her off now on live streams I have done reaction videos with her I need to do more to be quite honest but of course, YouTube kind of updated their thing, so I've been a little iffy about doing it. But these dads miss out on this. And it really 
I'm not going to say it angers me, but it just irks me being a dad already having, you know, a year and a half with this little girl to see her grow, to see her develop, to see her learn. I don't understand why anybody wouldn't want that. Why people would rather run the streets and, you know, sleep around than settle down and raise you don't know what that child could be. But what I always love is how all of these people, and this is just people in general, but dads will do this too. How that child will, ri will rise up and then that dad will want to come back when he makes something of himself. Mm-mm. That shit, I hate that. That is a pet peeve of mine. If you're gonna not be there during the grind, don't be there during the rise. And that goes for anybody, not just parents. That's anybody. That is anybody. If you're not there when you're needed, then you don't deserve to be there afterwards. When you don't need the help anymore. I already know I'm going to be there. But the one thing that kind of ticks me in the back of my mind every so often is my parents passed away when I was really young. When I was 12, my dad passed away. When I was 14, my mom passed away. It just gets me wondering, like, with all of the stress that I've had to deal with, over the course of life since then, it always bothers me on whether or not the same thing will happen. If I won't get to see my child grow up like my parents didn't get to see me grow up. But I try not to think too much of it because if you have a thought like that in your mind, if you have a thought like, oh, you know, what's the point? It may not end up, you know, mattering, then you limit yourself. And that's with life in general. You limit yourself. So I want to give a shout out to all the dads out there who are grinding, who are representing, who are with their kids. You're the realist. I want to give a shout out to all of the moms out there, the single moms who are grinding it out, being the mom, being the dad, because their dads are big douche waffles. You're the realist. And for all you dads out there that don't want to be a part of their kid's life, hey, you do you. You do you. Watch your child grow up to be better than you. The student eventually surpasses the master always however my little student i'm gonna watch her surpass me y'all can sit on the sidelines and enjoy whatever you're doing having one kid and then going off and supporting another you do that you'll do that Karma comes to everybody. It doesn't matter how, you know, much that mother is struggling. She'll make it without you, even though you said she wouldn't. That child that you thought, oh, he's, he won't be nothing. That child will be better than you. What goes around comes around always. And I am proud to be a father. I'm proud to be a father. I appreciate y'all for watching my little rant. If you have children, be sure to give them a hug today. Tell them you love them. Especially if you're a father. If you're a single mother, keep on trucking. But also, here in the Grizzly Kingdom, we have one rule. Never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.